What's going on with you? Great, man. Great. Right, right, right. You got a big fight coming up? Yes. I'm leaving to Brazil right now to acclimatate everything and feel better. So my fight's going to be in two weeks. Okay, okay. And I wanted to ask you, what's it like, man, fighting a, a fellow Brazilian? What, what's that like? <laughs> As a professional fight, I cannot think like that. No, I just think if you put somebody in front of me, I have to fight and give my best. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds like a winner to me, man. Think it's going to go the distance? Big, big or you want to take him out early? I'm going to finish this fight before the, the end. Okay, all right, all right. And real quickly, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about Ronda Rousey transitioning over into the, the wrestling world now? I think it's, it's good for her. It's good for her because if she, once your mind once your mind doesn't want you know do something anymore, right. better to change. If she doesn't feel comfortable to fight in MMA for a while, I think it's the better choice to do something to to be to to, to feel like uh, able to do other things. You know? and, and pro wrestling is a good thing. I start my career in Japan. I, I used to live in New Japan Pro Wrestling, Dojo, it's an academy in Japan, and I have a good friends in Pro Wrestling. Okay, okay, okay. Hey man, sounds great. And on the last note, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about, I mean me, I was shocked, I'm a martial artist myself, and I was shocked at how nobody really got off the bus and put hands on Conor McGregor when he did what he did. I mean, how could they hold that kind of restraint? I mean, it, the bus was full of fighters. Yes. <laughs> it was... He was lucky. He, he was lucky, yeah. man. But, no, I, I prefer no mention about that. Okay. Yes. okay. Well, good luck on your fight, my man. Thank you, my friend. And you keep getting... Yes, victory. Thank you, my friend. Bye.